broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 28. And the road to SummerSlam continues to get hot and continues to get heavy right here tonight on WWE Main Event. Thank you for joining us here this evening. And boy, oh boy, do we got an exciting contest coming up later this evening that's going to crown the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship and WWE Women's Champion Bianca Belair at SummerSlam. It's a fatal four-way elimination contest. Shotzi, Shayna Baszler, Ember Moon, and Casey Catanzaro. These four women are going to battle it out elimination style. Last woman standing is going to be Bianca Belair at the biggest party of the summer. SummerSlam for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. But well, we get set to kick things off here tonight. Speaking of champions, the Cruiserweight Champion of the World and leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, is in one-on-one -on -one action to kick us off. his way to the ring representing legado del fantasma from mexico city mexico weighing in at 200 pounds the wwe cruiserweight champion santos escobar of course as of late on monday night raw we have been going through the cruiserweight championship eliminator and we are going to get the finals of said cruiserweight eliminator this coming monday night when isaiah swerve scott Takes on the one and only Ricochet. Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator Finals. The winner of said contest is going to be the man of the hour, Santos Escobar, for the Cruiserweight Championship the next time we come your way on Universe Mode Pay-Per-View right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel for WWE SummerSlam. I cannot wait to see who is Santos Escobar going to fight at SummerSlam. Will it be a Money in the Bank rematch versus Isaiah Swerve Scott? Or will it be Ricochet getting his first shot at the Cruiserweight Championship in Santos Escobar? But as for tonight, Escobar's got his hands full with a former NXT North American champion. A man who has been world-traveled, Kushida, back in action here tonight. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 192 pounds, Kushida! Last time we saw Kushida in action was about two weeks ago here on WWE Main Event when he took on all day Austin Theory. Of course, on that night, Austin Theory was successful. So is Kushida looking to bounce back, get back in the winning columns here in the WWE and take on the Cruiserweight Champion here tonight. And what a win it could be if Kushida, the time splinter, picks up the victory over Cruiserweight Champion Santos Escobar. Could easily put him in future ranks for the Cruiserweight Championship after the SummerSlam pay-per-view. We're, as we get set to kick off main event here tonight, we're going to be talking a lot about SummerSlam, as we know, in that main event, big time SummerSlam implications. It's going to be Shayna Baszler, Shotzi, Ember Moon, and Casey Catanzaro. Only one woman is going to go on to fight Bianca Belair for the WWE Women's Championship at SummerSlam. But here we go, kicking things off tonight with Santos Escobar, the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, taking on Kushida. This will most likely be the last time we see Santos Escobar in action before the SummerSlam pay-per-view. So I'm sure he's going to be kicking back after this matchup, win, lose, or draw. And paying close attention to that contest we have coming up on Monday Night Raw. The Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator Final. Isaiah Swerve Scott taking on Ricochet. A couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, Isaiah Swerve Scott picked up the first victory of the Eliminator. Of course, those two triple threat matches. It's all Swerve. Pick up the win over Angel Garza as well as Kalisto. And then Ricochet this past week on Monday Night Raw. Getting the win over Lince Dorado as well as Humberto Carrillo. And now it comes down to those two men. And remember it was before Money in the Bank. Where Isaiah Swerve Scott and Ricochet battled it out for the first time. To decide who would fight Santos Escobar at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. On that night it was Isaiah getting the victory. So now we're running it back in the finals of the Cruiserweight Eliminator. This coming Monday Night on Raw. And I can't wait to see what the result of that matchup is going to be. It's going to be Isaiah Swerve Scott getting round number two against the leader of Legado del Fantasma. As they're coming up short at Money in the Bank, you know he's going to want to get another shot at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. What a DDT by Kushida here. And he follows it up with the moonsault, but Santos Escobar 
Quick to get out of the way and now takes the knees out of Kishida. As we are talking about, will it be Isaiah Swerve Scott or will it be Ricochet, the one and only, getting his first championship opportunity at the Cruiserweight title and at Santos Escobar. Both matches, either way you call it, are going to be exciting coming up at SummerSlam. All the championships are going to be on the line. I cannot wait to get to the biggest party of the summer. As we get back to the action inside the ring that's kicking us off here on Universe Mode Episode 28. What a ride we have been on since the beginning of this. And it's continuing right now as Kushida taking it to the Cruiserweight Champion. As we mentioned, a win for Kushida here because absolutely put him in line for a future Cruiserweight Championship opportunity regardless of who's holding the gold after the SummerSlam pay-per-view, whether it be Santos Escobar or one of his opponents. Whether it be Isaiah Swerve Scott or Ricochet, we're going to find that out in the Cruiserweight Eliminator Finals. Kishida going up to the top rope, goes for the Axe Hammer, but Santos Escobar right there with a counter. He once again takes out the knee. Santos Escobar, whether you like his actions or not inside the ring, he has been nothing short of impressive since winning the Cruiserweight Championship. Remember, he won that title back at the Backlash pay-per-view in that six-man elimination contest. And Santos Escobar has been holding the title ever since for the last number of months. And now he's got Kushida all tied up here. And cradles him into the pinfall. Kushida may be down and out. Santos going for the win. But Kushida survives. Santos Escobar with two Cruiserweight Championship defenses under his belt. As we mentioned, of course, the matchup at our last pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. He retained over Isaiah Swerve Scott. And he also has a victory. On Monday Night Raw after Backlash over Lucha House Party's Grand Metalik. Santos Escobar knows how to get it done inside the squared circle. There's a reason he's holding the gold. Kushida could be the one to knock him off and certainly take away some of his momentum here. And with moves like that, it certainly looks like Kushida's in the right direction. And he's got the Cruiserweight Champion days here. Kushida's looking for something. Goes for a kick and absolutely football punt kick and he hits it Santos is dazed and confused because she just got to capitalize here didn't capitalize fast enough there's Santos going back to the well with what works it's the third or fourth time in the contest we've seen Santos Escobar take out the knees of Kushida but it works it's effective and now he drops the leg and it's not enough to defeat Kushida thus far a great cruiserweight contest we have a have ourselves here tonight kicking us off on WWE Main Event, our secondary program here on Universe Mode. Now he's got Kushida tied in the tree of row, tree of woe, excuse me, right in front of Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. The rest of Legado Del Fantasma is now Santos Escobar. Follows up the double knees. He's headed to the top rope. Goes for the splash, but he miscalculates it there as Kushida is way too close to the corner. And that's going to put Kushida in the driver's seat. Get a little of this. Let's go for a submission hold here, going for an arm bar. Santos Escobar could be moments away from tapping out. And what a win it would be for Kushida if he could defeat the Cruiserweight Champion here. Santos is in deep, deep trouble. Oh, and he's able to slip out, push Kushida off just in the last second. There's a super kick by the champion. Absolutely awesome cruiserweight action kicking us off as Santos Escobar going back to some of his signature maneuvers there. If it's the second time in the contest, he's got Kushida cradled up, but it's still not enough. Man, no matter what the result of this match is, win, lose, or draw, you got to give credit where credit's due. Both of these men putting up a great fight, and especially Kushida is looking great here. But right now, it's not looking so good as Santos Escobar sends his skull crashing into the canvas below. And Santos clearly not done. He's going to look to repeat that maneuver. And there it is. Once again, Santos Escobar back to back. And there's the victory. Big ups to Kushida. Putting up a hell of a contest against Santos Escobar here tonight. But the Cruiserweight Champion continuing his momentum. How impressive has the champion been? And he continues to build momentum on the road to SummerSlam. Oh, well, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. This is what I was talking about earlier, whether you like Santos Escobar or not. And these are some of the actions that may put you in the bad taste in your mouth for Santos Escobar. Unnecessary attack on 
Kushida here after a great contest, but the Cruiserweight Champion is still on top of the world. The question lies, who is going to be his next challenger? Well, the action rolls on here on WWE Main Event. And we are set for a little bit of tag team wrestling inside the squared circle. First up, former tag team champions in their own right. The father and son duo, Dominic and Rey Mysterio. These two men have been on top of the world as of late. Victory after victory after victory for Dominic and Rey Mysterio. They're looking to continue to climb the ranks in the tag team division here tonight on Main Event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 375 pounds. The team of Dominic and Rey Mysterio. You know that sign you just saw in the crowd a moment ago that said can't stop a Mysterio is absolutely right. The recent resume of these two men screams volumes. Singles victories over Chad Gable and Otis, then a tag team victory over Alpha Academy, a tag team victory over Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza, and then last week here on Main Event, Dominic Mysterio picked up a singles victory over Graham Metalik. Ray and Dominic have been on top of the world as of late, now they're set for tag team action. And with SummerSlam approaching, the Mysterios are going to continue to climb their ranks and possibly become the next number one contenders for the World Tag Team Gold. But here comes possibly their biggest test as of late. Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. These guys are rough and they are tough inside of the ring. Two true tough professional wrestlers. And these two men have suffered some big time recent losses. They're the last tag team champion challengers for Eric and Ivar at Money in the Bank. Oni Lorcan suffered a recent loss to Drew McIntyre as well. Oni Lorcan again. And Danny Burks are going to get back in the winning ways. So a lot of opportunity possibly riding on the line in this tag team contest. We kick things off with Danny Burks, or excuse me, with Oni Lorcan and Dominic Mysterio inside of the ring. And what is all on the line here is the Mysterios are going to continue their momentum, as we mentioned. And Danny Burks and Oni Lorcan just going to get back in the winning ways after some big time recent losses. As we mentioned, they were... Going against the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar, your current WWE World Tag Team Champions. At our last pay-per-view, Money in the Bank, they came up short, but what a match it was on that night. Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch absolutely took Eric and Ivar to their limits. Unfortunately, they came up short, but you know Lorcan and Burch are going to be looking to get back in the Tag Team Championship hunt sooner rather than later. And it absolutely could be one step closer to a future championship opportunity. Thinking... Derail the momentum of Dominic and Ray here. As Danny Birch in the ring with Dominic now, your legal man after a little bit of a tag team maneuver. And Dominic, as we mentioned, he's the last one of these four who competed in these ring. It was just last week where he went one on one with Grand Metal League in an exciting contest here on Main Event. It takes a while to heal up from a match like that, so I'm sure Dominic isn't necess necessarily coming in 100% in this contest. And the Mysterios, they're all about the heart. They're all about the fight. We've known that about the Mysterio family for a very long time. So you know Dominic's going to come and give it his all inside of the ring here tonight. But as we mentioned, Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan, they are rough and tough. And they will beat you down in every which way and hit you every which way. As we just saw, a chap followed up by a kick. Danny Burch, so tough inside of the ring. And now he's going to tag in Oni Lorcan. Oni's got his eyes on Dominic Mysterio. Dominic's been in since the opening bell these last few minutes. Definitely going to look for a tag to his father, Ray, who's right in the corner. But right now, Dominic is just down and out. Birch and Lorcan in control. I'm sure the World Tag Team Champions, Eric and Ivar, have got their eyes on this contest. SummerSlam is approaching. We know all the championships will be on the line. Eric and Ivar yet to determine who their challengers will be. Dominic looking to steal the win off the sunset flip. But only Lorcan getting the shoulder up. Dominic, very impressive. He's got a lot of his father's abilities inside of the ring. And he certainly knows how to take a maneuver like that right on the Chrome Dome. 
Half Nelson suplex by Oni Lorcan. Now he's going to look to follow it up. Dead weight and Dominic here at a sit out power bomb. What strength from Oni Lorcan. Lorcan's headed to the top rope. Could be looking for that big time blockbuster maneuver. Dominic going to be a little far away, so Oni Lorcan instead elects for the missile drop kick. Dominic is really taking a beating this last number of minutes. Danny Birch is in now. Dominic's trying to fight back. Shoots Birch off into the Mysterio corner, and finally he gets the tag to his father, Rey Mysterio. And the Mysterio is looking for double team action, and for the first time in this contest, it connects. Rey follows up with a moonsault. Rey, of course, your freshest man. First time he's competed in this contest. Let's see what he's going to bring to the table here. Now, Rey Mysterio, look at this. Look at that! A Canadian Destroyer by Rey Mysterio. Just nails it out of nowhere. Absolutely bringing out the heavy artillery in this contest. But Danny Burch right there to counter. Look at this. Big time suplex. Rey Mysterio getting folded inside out. Now follows it up with an elbow. Notice how Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. No waste of motion in this contest. After they hit one maneuver, they're right there to follow it up with another, and they're keeping themselves fresh, fresh in this contest. Not staying too long in the ring, not overstaying their welcome. Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch have been in control of the majority of this thing. Oni Lorcan with a blockbuster on Rey Mysterio. And now he's back into the corner. Rey is on spaghetti legs. Oni Lorcan's looking to follow it up. Blockbuster number two with the height. And now he goes right into the cover. Ray might be down and out here. And Ray gets the shoulder up just at the last second. Man, Birch and Lorcan have been all over the Mysterios since the opening bell. Little offense for the father-son duo. But there's Ray Mysterio trying to build some momentum for himself as well as Dominic. Shoots Oni Lorcan off into the corner. Ray Mysterio trying to use his speed to his advantage. And look at this. Super impressive maneuver off that DDT. Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan, they've been rough. And they've been tough. And they've been hitting hard in this contest. The Mysterios got to do what they do best. And that's use their speed and their agility to their advantage. As they do there, off the double team. Dominic with a double drop kick goes into the cover on Oni Lorcan. The Mysterios going to pick up the win, but Oni Lorcan gets the shoulder up. Lorcan makes the tag to Danny Burch. And now we're back to the two fresher men in the contest, Danny Burch and Dominic. Oh, and Danny Burch, what a forearm there. The young kid maybe knocked out after a shot like that. And now he fouls it up with a couple of hard strikes. And Burch and Lorcan have been super impressive in this contest. Now Danny Burch, look at this, is going for the cross face. Dominic, I believe, was cut open off that last shot from Danny Burch. And this is not looking good for the Mysterios. Dominic's got blood trickling from the forehead right above the eye. He's locked in the cross face here. Could be on the verge of tapping out. Instead, he's able to break the hold of Danny Burch. And he hits a much needed shot to the forehead. Dominic follows it up with a drop kick. You smell the sense of urgency from the Mysterios here now that Dominic has drew blood. Dominic going to send right into the corner. Might be a good idea to get the fresher man in. As Dominic is seeing blood here, but Danny Burch is not going to allow that to happen. Goes for the German suplex, and he hits it. And Dominic needs to crawl to the corner. You see he doesn't really have his wits about him right now. Finally takes a tag to Rey Mysterio. Rey and Oni Lorcan are in. Rey hits the moon. Salt the Mysterios are looking good. Oni Lorcan's day is Mysterio. We're going to keep the momentum going. Get a little of this. Nice DDT. Ray goes right into the cover. Smart maneuver. But unfortunately, only lurking too close to the ropes there. Referee's got to call for the rope break. And Ray, look at this. Always shoots only lurking off. What's the phone number? It's on speed dial. There's the 619. And I believe only lurking may have gotten cut open there. Ray goes for the frog splash. Only lurking's blood may have been what woke him up. Man, what a tag team contest. What a, what a bunch of great in-ring action we're getting tonight here on WWE Main Event. Ray hits the 619, goes for the frog splash. Oni Lorcan gets cut open on the 619, and now he's about to tap out Ray Mysterio to that half Boston Crab. Ray's trying to get to the ropes, excuse me. 
No, oh, and I believe Dominic may have broke the hole. There's Rey Mysterio to push him off. And so much action to keep up with in this tag team contest. You smell the sense of urgency from the Mysterios. Dominic's drew blood. Oni Lorcan's now drew blood. This tag team match is certainly picking up business. Dominic Mysterio in. I'm not sure how much more he's got left in the tank. I gotta say the same about Uni Lorcan as well. A couple of back and forth reversals here. Dominic sends Uni Lorcan into the corner once more. And a nice elbow. That would have been right over the eye of Uni Lorcan that's been cut open. He follows it up with a drop kick. Smart move by Dominic Mysterio to stay on the attack. Now he's got Oni Lorcan. Oh, it looks like he's going to go for a little bit of the 619 here. Dominic knows it well, and he hits it flush. Oni Lorcan's not getting up after that one. Double 619s followed up with a frog splash by Dominic here. And I believe Oni Lorcan was too close to comfort for the ropes. Dominic's still going to follow it up. He's going back up to the top rope. Hits the splash for good measures here. He's got to get Oni Lorcan away from that rope here. Absolutely would have put Oni Lorcan away there if it weren't for the positioning in the ring. Now he's going for the schoolboy. Oni Lorcan gets the shoulder up. Too much time to rest. You want to talk about a competitive tag team contest here. Look no further than the Mysterios versus Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. Rey Mysterio and Danny Burch making their way to the outside. Meanwhile, Dominic Mysterio and Oni Lorcan. Your two Leo combatants, and Dominic once again hits that big time splash for the tippy top rope. And he gets the cover, and the Mysterios continue their winning ways. What an incredibly exciting tag team wrestling contest we had for you tonight on WWE Main Event. Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch throwing everything they had at Dominic and Ray. And he got to give ups. To the Mysterios, I mean, they withstood a lot of offense from Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan in this contest. But a couple of 619s and the big time frog splashes Here later. Are your winners, the team of Dominic and Ray Mysterio. And they were able to get the job done. Dominic and Ray have been on an absolute roll as of late. That's the third team they've beaten as of late. And you gotta imagine Dominic and Rey Mysterio are near the top of the tag team rankings. Could they be your next challengers for the World Tag Team Championships? Well, coming up on your next episode of Universe Mode, Monday Night Raw, the Isaiah Swerve Scott taking on Ricochet in the Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator Finals. This is a rematch from over a month ago. Who is going to face Santos Escobar for the title at SummerSlam? And speaking of championships, the Intercontinental Championship is going to be on the line in the main event of Raw. Dominic Dijakovic pulled up the victory over Finn Balor two weeks ago here on main event. And now he fights Sheamus for the Intercontinental Championship, which could affect the Intercontinental Championship matchup at SummerSlam. What is going to happen on Raw? And speaking of the biggest party of the summer, we have breaking news. Hot and heavy this feud has been. A no contest on Monday Night Raw leads to extreme rules at SummerSlam. The Prince Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy looking to end this thing once and for all with absolutely anything goes. Also coming up at SummerSlam, the Intercontinental Championships on the line. Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne, your challengers. But will Sheamus be the champion? Is Sheamus going to be defending? Or will Dominic Dijakovic be walking into the biggest party of the summer as the Intercontinental Champion will find out on Raw? And then, of course, in your main event, the Rated R Superstar Edge is going to cash in the money in the bank against the phenomenal WWE Champion of the World, AJ Styles in a WrestleMania rematch. That will be the main event of SummerSlam. Who is going to walk away with the biggest prize in the business today? The WWE Championship. All that and more coming up at WWE SummerSlam. What an exciting card we have for Monday Night Raw already. But it is time for your main event of the evening. We're going to determine another contest for SummerSlam. Who is going to fight Bianca Belair for the women's title? The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making her way to the ring from Oakland, California. Shotzi! Shotzi has got a lot of history with the WWE Women's Champion Bianca Belair. Two incredible matches a few months back on Raw and Main Event. Neither time was Shotzi able to get her hand raised, but boy did she impress on those nights. 
And Shotzi has been impressive as of late. She was a participant in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match a couple of weeks back, which of course was won by the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And recently on Monday Night Raw, Shotzi took on Io Shirai and was able to pick up the exciting victory in that awesome contest. Shotzi's been looking good as of late, but can she get it done when it matters most? When a future championship opportunity is on the line, we are going to find out right here, right now, in your main event. She's a former NXT Tag Team Champion. And who is her tag team partner? This woman, a former NXT Women's Champion, looking to get a shot at the Women's Championship of WWE. As I just mentioned, former champions in NXT, former tag team partners, Shotzi and Ember Moon, know each other very well. But once again tonight, they're going to be on the opposite sides of the ring, and there will be no love lost between those two women. There's a lot of respect there, but competition leads the best. And when a women's championship opportunity is on the line, you know nine, none of these women are going to hold anything back. Bianca Belair has been on top of the women's division for several months. She's been nothing short of dominant. She's the women's champion for a reason. And coming up at SummerSlam, she's certainly going to have a deserving challenger, no matter who walks away with this win. And from Glen Ridge, New Jersey, Casey Catanzaro! Well, Casey Catanzaro made her main roster debut a couple of weeks ago. In a losing effort to Mickey James. But recently here on Main Event, she picked up the victory over Mickey James in a rematch. And it was very interesting because after the contest, Shayna Baszler, your other participant in this Fatal 4-Way matchup, hit the ring and laid out Casey Catanzaro, sending a message to the newcomer. So it's going to be a very interesting situation having those two women in the ring here tonight. And Casey Catanzaro has been very impressive as of late. But boy, could she absolutely skyrocket to the top of the women's division if she can hang with Bianca Belair at the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. Three of your women have entered, and one more challenger awaits. One of the most dominant NXT Women's Champions in history, the Queen of Spades, is in the house. Shayna Baszler is looking to skyrocket herself to the top of the women's division as well. She's been to the top before in NXT. One of the most dominant women's champions under the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And Shayna Baszler's been looking for that big opportunity for quite some time. Now she's got an opportunity here tonight. You remember this matchup is elimination style. Three decisions must be made before we have our last woman standing and our number one contender. And I feel like if there's anybody in this contest who can absolutely run the gauntlet, it would be the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. She's got to be the odds-on favorite in this contest. No matter who wins, Bianca Belair is going to have a worthy challenger coming up at SummerSlam. But it's time to decide who will stand across the ring from the EST of WWE at the biggest party of the summer. When the gold's on the line, it's your fatal four-way elimination main event. Number one contendership for the WWE Women's Championship, and it starts right now. And we are getting things underway here with two singles matches, if you will. Casey Catanzaro and Shotzi going at it. Ember Moon and Shayna Baszler going at it. We know those two women have a lot of history from Shayna Baszler and Ember Moon's time in NXT. Feuding over the NXT Women's Championship, a championship that both women know very well. What a big opportunity it would be for, of course, all of these women to get that victory and to move on. Oh, wait a minute, we might have an elimination here. Shotzi going to look to eliminate Casey Catanzaro. Casey Catanzaro, definitely the one with the least experience in this contest. Shotzi on her and her right. As we mentioned, she's been in the ring with the women's champion, Bianca Blair, on two extremely impressive occasions. Unfortunately for Shotzi, she was unimpressive on both times, or excuse me, un, 
able to get the victory on both times. So I'm sure she would love to run that match back for a three-peat at SummerSlam. Let's just look at it. Defeat Casey Catanzaro again, but Casey gets the shoulder up. You know, Shayna Baszler may have just knocked Ember Moon out cold to that knee, but Ember Moon gets the shoulder up. It'll be very interesting to see how the eliminations play out here. Remember, no countouts, no disqualifications in a match like this. Pinfall or submission will decide your number one contender. And you look at some of the pairings that we could see coming up at SummerSlam. Casey Catanzaro. Arguably the rookie of this whole thing. The one with the least experience. Would she be able to hang on such a big stage with Bianca Belair? We talked about Shotzi, how she's been in the ring with Belair. And how she would love to get a 3 P, but she may be on the way out. Ember Moon, oh, there's a rope break there. Ember Moon. Talk about a, an awesome styles clashing between Ember Moon and Bianca Belair. Really similar styles between the two. Ember Moon, more speed. Bianca Belair, more strength. Both extremely agile and impressive inside of the ring. Shayna Baszler's probably got the most diverse set, or style, excuse me, to Bianca Belair. Be more of a strength versus submission contest if we were to see that at SummerSlam. No matter which way you have it, all four ways are going to be very interesting. I can't wait to see who's going to be the number one contender. A Shotzi with a little bit of slice spread to Ember Moon inside of the ring. Those former tag team champions of NXT going at it right now. Now Casey Cat and Zorro, Shayna Baszler, of course, going at it on the outside. Meanwhile, Shotzi with that coffin drop maneuver from the top rope. Looking to put Ember Moon away. Will we see our first elimination in this contest? But Ember Moon gets the shoulder up. Shift focus to ringside. Casey catanzaro has got a score to settle, as we mentioned, with the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. It was last week here on Main Event. Casey Catanzaro got that victory over Mickey James. Shayna Baszler hit the ring, letting the rookie know where she was. As Shotzi just sends herself with that senton to the outside on Ember Moon. But jumping back to Baszler and Casey Catanzaro, who are now taking the ring. Shayna Baszler truly welcoming... Casey to the main roster. And now maybe looking to send her out of this contest. What a submission hold. She's got tied her up in here. Casey may be about to tap out. We got Shotzi and Ember Moon back in the ring. All four women inside the squared circle at the current moment. Shotzi heading back to the top rope. She's eyeing up Ember Moon here. Casey Catanzaro shoots Shayna Baszler off. And Shayna gets sent over to the top rope. Shotzi went for the drop kick. Nobody home. Ember Moon and Casey Catanzaro going at it. Casey gets sent. And now Ember Moon, what a springboard kick to Shotzi. Ember looking impressive here. Now she's headed to the top rope. Shotzi may be knocked out cold. Ember's eyeing her up. Oh, we got a brawl at ringside. Ember Moon could be looking for the Eclipse. I know she went for the missile drop kick, but Shotzi able to sidestep it. She goes for the super kick. Ember Moon sidestepped it. Now she sends Shotzi over the top rope. No eliminations thus far, but right now it could be a good moment for Ember Moon to catch her breath here. So later we get into the later rounds of this contest. Conditioning is going to be very important. A night of in-ring action we have seen here on WWE Main Event, and boy can I not wait to get to Universe Mode Episode 29 for Monday Night Raw. Two awesome matches already signed, as we've been mentioning throughout the night. The Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator, the finals of that thing. Going to be going down. Isaiah Swerve Scott versus the one and only Ricochet. Winner is going to fight Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship at SummerSlam. Meanwhile, Shotzi's heading back up to the top. Goes for the splash. And Ramon gets the knees up. And of course, also coming up on Monday Night Raw, the Celtic Warrior Seamus is going to be defending the Intercontinental Championship against Dominic Dijakovic. And not only is the Intercontinental Championship on the line, but boy, does that match a big time SummerSlam implications. Intercontinental Championship is set to be defended in a triple threat contest. With Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne as your challengers coming up at SummerSlam. And that match is going to go down either way, no matter who the champion is, going into things. Dominic Dijakovic, of course, as we mentioned, picking up a, a big-time victory over Finn Balor, thanks to Jeff Hardy a number of weeks ago here on Main Event, which earned him an Intercontinental Championship opportunity. And a lot of action going on as we got all four women back inside the ring here. And Shotzi almost eliminating Ember Moon. But nonetheless, I can't wait to get the Monday Night Raw. Two, two big matches, excuse me, already signed and more to be signed. As the road to SummerSlam continues. 
And this is all four of these women are battling it out for a spot on the SummerSlam pay-per-view to challenge the EST for the WWE Women's Championship. Shayna Baszler, she's got Casey Catanzaro in the stranglehold here. Casey's got nowhere to go, and Casey Catanzaro tapping out. Your first casualty of the contest. And the four-way now becomes a triple threat. Ember Moon, Shayna Baszler, and Shotzi. One of the least experienced, Casey Catanzaro, your first elimination. Meanwhile, Shayna's on spaghetti lengths. Ember Moon hits the eclipse on Shayna Baszler. Ember into the cover. And will we see back-to-back -back eliminations here? No, Shayna Baszler gets the shoulder up. Shotzi back into the ring here as this ma match becomes a three-way. Casey Catanzaro has been super impressive as of late. She's super impressive in this contest. We're going to look to live the fight another day. As Shayna Baszler hits a big-time kick to Shotzi. Ember Moon springboard bulldog on Baszler. And that follows it up. That spine buster on Shotzi. Ember Moon, I got to say, has been pretty dominant throughout this contest. Now here comes Shotzi battling it out as she sends her over the top rope with that clothesline. Shane is down on the outside. Ember's on the outside. Shotzi going to look to join the party. Shotzi grabbing a hold. Looking to bring this match. Remember, eliminations can only occur inside the squared circle here as all three women make their way back into the ring. Pinfall or submission, as we just saw, will lead to your next casualty. Casey Catanzaro goes first. Who will go second? And who will go third? And who will be our last woman standing? Shayna Baszler's down. Ember's down on the outside. Shotzi from the top with the coffin drop. Shotzi into the cover. Will that spell the end for Shayna Baszler? And it does. Has been eliminated. Elimination number two. That card gets handed out to Shayna Baszler. And we are down to your final two in this contest. The former tag team champions, the friends, Ember Moon and Shotzi. Only one of these women can make their way to SummerSlam. And only one of them is going to fight Bianca Belair for the championship. Ember comes charging. Shotzi with the sidewalk slam. Into the cover she goes. Ember Moon gets the shoulder up. The four-way now becomes... It became a three-way. Now the three-way becomes a singles contest. Shotzi to the slice bread. Ember's down and out. Shotzi's got to follow things up here. Look at this. Hits the senton on Ember Moon. The Ember was a variation of sentons and splashes that got Shotzi that big time win over Io Shirai a number of weeks ago. Now she's up on the top. Coffin drop once again in this contest to Ember Moon. Shotzi going to punch her ticket to SummerSlam. No, Ember Moon gets the shoulder up at the last second. Ember Moon saving her SummerSlam sweepstakes opportunity. And now she's looking to be the aggressor. Takes out the legs of Shotzi. Ember on the top rope here. Look at this. Oh, she grabs Shotzi. I don't think Shotzi was expecting that maneuver. The eclipse from Ember Moon. Ember's going to get a SummerSlam. No. Shotzi getting the shoulder up. Both women pulling out their best maneuvers in their arsenal. But neither was enough to put the other woman away. As Shotzi looking to get creative. Nice move in the corner there. Falls it up with a senton. A signature maneuver for Shotzi. And the black heart's headed to the top rope. Could be looking for yet another. No, this time she goes for the splash. She looks for that maneuver. Into the cover she goes. But that's not enough. And these women are giving it their all. What a match this has been in our main event contest here tonight. Number one contendership on the line here. Which one of these women is going to fight the EST the next time we come your way on pay-per-view? Ember Moon looking to make sure she gets her hand raised. She's got Shotzi in the air. And Shotzi eats it into the gut. Going to take the wind out of you. For at least three seconds is what Ember Moon's hoping for. But Shotzi gets the shoulder up again. And back and forth we go here. Now a drop kick takes Ember Moon off her feet. And neither woman give it an inch. They're absolutely throwing everything they have at each other. Ember's dazed in the corner. Shotzi looking to follow it up here. Comes charging at her. Nice splash. Ember Moon once again on spaghetti legs. And Shotzi 
Cuts down the legs. She's heading back to the top rope. Could be looking. Coffin drop yet again. But will that be enough? That's the second or third maneuver in this contest that Ember Moon's eight. But unfortunately enough, it is not in Shotzi's favor. Ember Moon lives to fight tonight. Man, no matter who wins this contest, you got to give your hat off to both of these women as they are throwing absolutely every ounce of energy at each other. Shotzi survives. Ember Moon now grabbing a hold. A little bit of a collar and elbow. Go back to the basics. Now she sends her out with that sidewalk slam. Back into the cover. Ember Moon once again. Not enough to put Shotzi away. Shotzi now tilt a whirl. Head scissors maneuver. Ember Moon goes for a ride. Back and forth we go. Who is going to have enough to one up the other? And keep them down for the three count. As Shotzi grabs a hold out of nowhere. Hits that slice spread. And there's a senton on the mat. The running one by Shotzi. And now she's heading up to the top rope. Looking to pin together a couple maneuvers here. Once again, coffin drop. Shotzi into the cover. Shotzi has punched her ticket to SummerSlam. My God, what a main event. All four of these women give it everything they got. But Ember Moon and Shotzi battling out for the last number of minutes, giving each other every ounce of energy they had left in the tank. And as for that, speaking of tanks, there's your winner. And we now have your women's championship match signed, sealed, and delivered for the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Bianca Belair for the third time will meet Shotzi inside of the ring, but for the first time, the WWE Women's Championship is going to be on the line. SummerSlam is shaping up to be an incredible card. I cannot wait. The road to SummerSlam continues on Monday Night Raw. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we'll see you on the next episode of Universe Mode.